Welcome back to Unwrapped Gone Deep Fried. I'm Mark Summers. Cheetos, it's one of those snacks that gets its crunch from just a little hot oil treatment. But exactly how are these babies born? Well, we have the inside look. They're extra crispy and finger looking good. But we're not talking chicken, we're talking Cheetos. This snappy snack was introduced nationally in 1948 and soon became the king of the crunch. Now we make about four million bags of Cheetos a day. That comes out to over a billion bags of Cheetos a year. Even though so many of us eat them, how many of us really know what a Cheeto is? It's actually a corn puff. The crunchy variety is fried while the puffs are baked. At their factory in Frankfurt, Indiana, Frito-Lay makes so many Cheetos, it stores the main ingredient, cornmeal, in silos. The Cheetos get cooking as cornmeal mixes with water, creating a batter. The batter moves through a tube to a machine called an extruder. The Cheeto extruder is so top secret, we're not allowed to show it to you, but it's what gives the Cheeto its unique shape. As the cornmeal is passing through our extruders, it builds heat as well as pressure, and that's what makes it pop into the colette shape. A colette is the technical term for an uncooked Cheeto. At this point, the colette is a pale yellow color like the corn is made from and has the consistency of a rice cake. The colettes ride a conveyor to the fryer where they are cooked to more than 300 degrees. When we first make the Cheeto coming out of our extruders, it does not have that crunchy texture that people have come to love. It doesn't take on that crunchy texture until after it passes through our frying operation. But wait, what about the cheese? Well, to make Cheetos, we use about 12 million pounds of aged cheddar cheese a year. And that cheese is mixed with oil and some other seasonings and then applied to the Cheetos. The cheese is what gives Cheetos their distinctive bright orange color. It's also a shade that tends to stick to fingers, something Cheeto lovers really don't seem to mind. People actually like to lick that cheese powder off their fingers. A sea of super cheesy Cheetos then moves towards bagging. Along the way, trap doors open up on the conveyor, dropping the Cheetos into weight check machines that measure the perfect amount for each bag. The bags themselves are wound on a spool and thread through a filling machine. Each bag is sealed at the bottom, filled from the top, and then sealed shut. An astonishing 40,000 pounds of Cheetos are made every hour. That's enough to keep Chester cheese crunching. I'm just a cool dude in a loose mood. And here's a fun fact for you. Chester is actually related to another cool cat. What people might not know is that Chester was brought to life by the same artist who came up with the Pink Panther. It's not easy being cheesy. 